Here I'm walking to my community postal station. These postal stations here in the villages are located near your community swimming pool. That's my community swimming pool right there behind that fence. So they're conveniently located and every resident gets a small mailbox. And you have to pick your mail up here. So that's the side of the building. They have small mailboxes. It looks like they're maybe, I don't know, four or five inches by four or five inches. They're pretty deep. They fit a lot of mail. But if you do decide to get a large package in the from the US Postal Service, they do deliver those large packages to these larger mailboxes here. They'll put a key in your mailbox. That key will open up one of these larger boxes and you can pull out your package from the United States Postal Service there. Amazon does deliver packages to your doorstep. But if you get a package from the U.S. Postal Service, you pick it up here. Happy Saturday evening, everyone, in the Villages, Florida. It's the first night in a while that we did not get rainstorms. It is overcast. I hope you enjoy my content. If you want to see any specific kind of content here in the Villages, let me know in the comments on one of my videos. The other nice thing about these postal centers is that most of these postal centers will have a automatic teller machine. So if you need cash in a hurry, you can go to your postal center and get cash from the ATM machine. Very nice. Very convenient. Here's a look at the south. So I was reading some of the local news here in the villages. There's really two major news sources here in the villages. You have the de developer-owned newspaper, and then you have a third-party news source called villages-news.com. You can go on the website and look for it. The developer-owned newspaper tends to report mostly good news. You can see uh, oak trees with Spanish moss across the way. That is Belvedere Boulevard. So I was reading the uh, villages-news.com and there was a report in there about a woman who's complaining that the swimming pool water temperatures are too hot here in the summer in the villages. And she's requesting the villages install chilling machines in the, into the swimming pools to cool the water down. That's a very interesting thing. I did learn that there is a chilling system in the swimming pool at the Rohan Recreation Center. That's in the southern part of the villages. The news article did indicate that that chilling machine was purchased by the swim team. I assume it was the high school swim team. The Villages does have a high school, by the way. Their mascot is the Buffaloes. The Villages Buffaloes. They're green and gold. The team colors are green and gold. And they're usually very good in football here at the Villages. So, uh, the newspaper indicated the woman uh, is, is playing, she plays water polo or water volleyball, and she claims that she knows people who received heat stroke or uh, heat exhaustion, actually. 
because of the warm water temperatures in the swimming pools and she's asking the villages to install chilling units in the swimming pools. The water temperature here in the swimming pools during summer gets warm. It's probably 90 degrees or maybe even warmer than that. But the water temperatures cool down after every rainstorm. If there's enough rain, that rainwater will cool the temperature of the pool water down. I'm not sure those chilling systems are worth the money. Those chilling systems would cost a lot of money to install in every swimming pool. And that would most likely be reflected in higher amenity fees because your recreational assets like swimming pools, they are maintained through the monthly amenity fees you pay. So in order to keep costs down, the villages chooses not to install chilling system in the swimming pools because there's a natural chilling system called the rainwater. These are designer homes across the way. And those streets are maintained by the county because they are in a designer neighborhood that that's reflected and discussed in a previous video. So here is the community swimming pool area. They have a bocce court right there. They have a shuffle ball court right there. All of these assets are maintained through your monthly amenity fees. So I don't know what the villages will do about the chilling systems. I doubt if they will install them. I think it's going to be too cost prohibitive to do that. And they are very good at trying to minimize and keep costs down and keep your maintenance fees and amenity fees down. We did have a lot of inflation. A lot of the costs for services have gone up. The Villages has a property management system, uh, uh, team. They call them DPM, Department of Property Management. They're responsible for maintaining all of these assets here in the Villages, making sure that everything is clean, everything is maintained. So they have a team of individuals that oversee the maintenance of these items. Most of the maintenance for these assets here in the villages are contracted out. For instance, when they resurface parking lots, they contract it out. They go through a formal bidding process. They have a purchasing department that puts out bids or requests for bids. And most of the services that are performed here in the villages to maintain the beauty are performed by outside contractors. And the village's property management team kind of oversees that. And they ensure the timeliness of the maintenance of these items. They have schedules set up, regular recurring maintenance of certain items. For instance, air conditioning systems. I believe there's an air conditioning system in that postal center. Those air conditioning systems need to be replaced about every 15 or 20 years. So you can assume that your air conditioner on your home here in Florida will last between 15 and 20 years. That's about the same amount of time that your uh, shingled roof will last. I know some people are concerned about how long does a shingled roof last on your home here in Florida, in the villages. Shingled roofs last around 20 years. And there's a lot of people worried about home insurance here in Florida. And it is true that it is more difficult to get home insurance than it was a couple of years ago. 
But part of the reason insurance companies will require that you have a, a new roof. And the big differences in insurance companies is how long they will allow you to go before you replace your roof. Some insurance companies will require that you replace your roof if it's 10 years old or more. Some insurance companies will require that you replace your roof if it's 15 years or more. Some insurance companies don't have a set number. I think they will come out and inspect your roof periodically. So if you do move to Florida and buy home insurance, I think it's a good question to ask is, your insurance company is, what is their requirement of how long and when do you need to replace your roof before they require you to? Some companies, 10 years, will, some companies will require 15 years. And after the 15 years, they will send you a notice saying, we won't insure you unless you put a new roof on your home. And there are a lot of new roofs going on these homes. In these neighborhoods, it's a constant noise of air nailers. Lots of new roofs going on in these homes, especially this part of the villages. Most of these homes in this community have been built in 2004, 2005 time frame. So they're right at that 20 year mark and a lot of these roofs are being replaced. A lot of them. And there's a lot of contractors that come through these neighborhoods. And there's a lot of different contractors. So I asked somebody knowledgeable of the building industry here in Florida. I said, who is the best contractor to put a roof on? And that individual said, most of these contractors use the same employees or the same subcontractors. He says, it doesn't really matter which contractor you pick. He says, pick the one with the lowest or near lowest cost because they pretty much all use the same subcontractors to put these roofs on. That was an interesting thought. Anyway, this video is getting long. It's 13 minutes. I'm going to end it. Thanks for joining. Thank you for listening. Thanks for subscribing and thank you for liking my videos. Have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Saturday night.